What's up Tony homies? Today I'm going to show you how to neuroplant first try fast and easy. It is not difficult at all. Before we dive into the correct technique for executing a neuroplant, let's address the primary reason why it might not be working for you. A specific setting within your control settings. Allow me to demonstrate. In your pause menu, go to control settings and then wall settings. Then look for walk to wall plant cooldown. Make sure it's turned on for neuroplant to work correctly. I'll just deactivate it and attempt the neuroplant again. Check this out. I'm usually great at neuroplanting and look it wouldn't work, no matter how often I try. Let's just turn the setting back on and try again. And boom, there it is again. First try. Let me teach you how to do the neuroplant step by step. The first step is literally to roll off the pipe, hold the up button and bump into the wall. You will hear your skater hitting the wall. That's the magic moment. Now you wait for that bump and then immediately do a flip or grab trick. Also don't forget to roll towards the wall without holding down ollie. That's the easiest version. It is very important to do the flip or grab trick after the bump. The last step is to add a wall plant or sticker slap afterwards. The timing is crucial, and you need to press the buttons quickly. I understand it might feel overwhelming initially, but trust me, after a few tries, it becomes super easy. Plus, it's not a lot of buttons to press, just that one trick and the jump button. For beginners, I recommend using focus mode. It'll give you some more time to execute it all. I'd like to offer my two cents on why I think this works, or at least, how I understand the physics of the game. Picture this. Tony Hawk games are often picked up by newbies and kids, and it can all feel super overwhelming. With so many buttons to press, missing the timing here and there is inevitable. So, the developers, knowing this, likely introduced cooldown timers. These timers give newbies a chance to execute moves like wall plants, even if they've already hit the wall and fallen back off. And it's these cooldown timers, with their longer input windows, that allow us to introduce techniques that weren't originally intended to be in the game. Think about it. Techniques like butt slaps, neuroplants, teleplants, they all exploit the cooldown system for inputs. For example, imagine you miss the opportunity to do an ollie, but now, thanks to the cooldown timer, you can do an ollie mid-air. What happens if we sneak a trick in between falling off an object and the late mid-air ollie? You got it. Butt slaps are the result. The same principle applies to neuroplants. You bump into the wall triggering the input window, now you smuggle in a grab trick and then you perform the wall plant like the game expects you to. But wait a second, now we have a collision and an air trick forcing you to bail and mixing that with a wall plant. You can even do telebail plants, no problem. And yeah that's it for today folks, press like if you learned something and don't forget to check out my other guides and tutorials. Keep shredding, peace.